up for you. And now, here's the veteran voice of the legal fix, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Lone Star State in Montgomery County, Texas, for a brand new episode of The Legal Fix, a new age radio show presented by the Tough Law Firm, the toughest law firm in town, with the toughest lawyers around, answering your toughest legal questions. Introducing first, hosting out of the red corner, the big deal, Bruce Wilson, top, joined by Boy Wonder, Brandon Scott Riley, and super lawyer, G.I. Jerome, the golden boy, Jeremy Lee Hall. Hey, thank you, Bruce Buffer. I'm the big deal Bruce Tough here with Boy Wonder, Brandon Riley, and Super Lawyer G.I. Jerome, the Golden Boy, Jeremy Hall. Call our hotline at 936-900-2381. How are you guys doing? Excellent. Happy Great to Happy see you. Great to see you. St. Patrick's Day. But well, yeah, no, it is. It's St. Pa- it's St. Patrick's Day today. St. Patrick's oh, Day it yesterday. It no, it's today. Yesterday. Okay. It's today. Well, agree, to it's agree to disagree. It's the 17th of Agree to disagree. No, it's it the eighteenth of March, Friday the eighteenth. No, it's the seventeenth. I I know it's the seventeenth. Okay, so we're uh, can't tell me nothing. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to throw me today or something? Nope, nope. <laughs> Jerome, you wanted nope. to say a few words before we start our show. Yeah, thank you. I want to give my condolences to the Givens family. My friend Tillman Givens, especially on the passing of his mother Wanda, attended her services today. Wonderful woman. And uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to the Givens family. Also, congratulations to my sister Lauren on the birth of her fourth child, Solve Lavina Gaines. Oh, congratulations. That's wonderful. Do you know what that means now? I do. Said the grapes of wrath. Is that right? Well, okay. I don't know. We'll have to confirm with our guest okay. because I think well, he's today today we're going to full dis- house. Our, today here. we have a special guest, and we're going to discuss the Republic of Cuba. And wow. with our infamous trial lawyer, Luis Fulgencio Suarez of the Suarez Law Fulgencio Office, PC, Suarez. in Cut and Shoot, Texas. Cut and Luis, and, shoot. He, and we talked to, we were at the Honor Cafe for a judge's panel forum, and yeah, uh, Luis told there. me he was coming, and so I said, hey, it's been, it'll be great to see you, and then I mm-hmm. said, you got to be on the show, so he graciously accepted to be on the show, and Luis and I go way back. We practiced together in uh, southwest Houston at um, Arena Towers, that's where we were, we were on the 20th floor, so it was Jack Nolan, Richard Wilkinson, uh, Mike Cohen, James Fogo, Bruce Tuff, Luis Suarez. We were all working together. It was a glorious time, a lot of fun, really enjoyed it. I had worked downtown with a couple of law firms, and then I went into the restaurant business. And um, James Fogo, or I can't remember if it was Jose Alonzo or James, but they, uh, Richard Wilkinson. Richard said, hey, we know you took so bankruptcy in law school. We're doing a bunch of bankruptcy work, doing uh, debtor representation. and." Uh, I came in and interviewed with Jack and Luis, and they hired me on the spot. They they recognized true talent. And, yeah, you know, here I am. Yeah, <laughs> they need yeah. another white guy for the firm. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. For they did. They had, I was a diversity card for the firm. <laughs> believe me, yes, I was. Yeah. yeah so we had we had African American, we had Cuban, we had uh, Jewish, we had yeah. So we had a pretty when well. When was it? Mix. Uh, Eighty five. Eighty six. I would guess somewhere between. 85 until maybe 1990, somewhere yeah, there. something like that. A good, yes. yeah, good five years. Well, welcome, Lewis. Good well, to see you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me, and I'm very happy to be here with you and your uh, associates. Uh, the, 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 I can see in them a lot of the enthusiasm and talent that I saw back in the 80s, uh, and early 90s with you and the other lawyers you mentioned. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Very well, um, so Luis has an incredible background, and it's fascinating. He's a chemical engineer by training. He's got a master's in law, 
Um, he speaks Japanese. He actually wow. he lived and worked in Japan when Does he that was. Mean he's turning Japanese in, now. No, he but he took me to some of the best Japanese restaurants and ordered the sushi. Okay. And, he, and we would just sit down. He would speak it in Japanese, order the sushi, and it was fabulous. I didn't know what I was eating, but I remember one that had like sea urchin eggs and a little quail egg on top on top of something else. And you just pop it all in your mouth and it Did explodes. Did any of it yeah. move when you... Oh, everything moved. It, it was moving. You don't, you don't <laughs> it's study so it wiggling too, when you pick it you, up. You don't study it too hard. But it was... Uh, yeah. So, Lewis, tell us a little bit about yourself. Give us a little background. Well, I uh, was born in Cuba. And I came to the United States when I was 14 years of age in 1961, before most everyone here was. <laughs> <laughs> and I came through a program called the Peter Pan program, which took children under 18 out of Cuba without the parents. So I came to the States, was placed in a foster home in Oregon. And eventually, my parents were able to leave Cuba, come to the United States, and we reunited in Ohio, where I went to engineering school and then to law school. Subsequently, I began to work for a company that manufactured industrial equipment while going to law school at night. And the last test of my law school career, I finished the test and my parents drove me to the airport in Cle Cleveland, Ohio to take a flight to Tokyo because I had accepted a job with Mitsubishi Chemicals in Tokyo. I worked in Tokyo for two and a half years and was hired by a company now defunct called Upjohn Chemicals, which yeah. had a plant in Laporte. And that's how I ended up in Texas. Yeah, that's wow, Upjohn. I remember Upjohn, big story. chemical company, right? It was, big. and it's no longer in existence. Yeah, I would. Well, so what is it? What made you change from chemical engineering to law? What was the moment that you said I would rather be a lawyer than a you know brilliant chemical engineer? I realized when I began to practice engineering that I was a good engineer, but I re really did not have the talent of others that I saw near me that really had a, an affinity for solving engineering problems. Mm. I was a little bit too methodical, a little bit too slow maybe, <laughs> and they were more of a genius in the conception of things engineering-wise, and I realized that's not really a field where I can excel. Right, right. Well, I will say this uh, about Luis. So back when I first met Luis, he was the only attorney in the office that worked on a computer. So he was the, and he had a master, a mastery of the computer, more than any of our uh, clerks and our legal secretaries in the paralegals. So uh, Luis did all his own work, which is what lawyers do now today, working on the computer do, but he did all his own work, did all his own briefing. And uh, I was most impressed by your legal research skills and your briefing and your tenacity you. in court, and you were totally fearless. So that was my, <laughs> that was my uh, exposure to you and how I think back upon uh, our association. Well, thank you, Bruce. And if I may comment, I also noticed in you then and still today a quality that I saw in only the best trial lawyers I have practiced with or against, and that is more than a legal mind, more than a sharp tongue, a likability, where the people that you went before, the jurors, liked you instinctively and naturally. Mm. And I have tried cases with some of the best main lawyers in Houston and the best ones have that likability. And I could name you several that even though they have big names, they are not likable <laughs> to the juror. We got a caller. We have a caller. All right. See, we so this is a live show, Lewis. We well, have callers that call in, and so they must have heard about you. All right. Hello, caller. Welcome to the Legal Fix. It's a legal Fix. Yes, sir, it is. What's your name? Uh, Sersa. Oh. Sosa. Sosa, Alejandro Sosa. What's your question? Oh, Sosa? Alejandro Sosa. Okay. I, I'm doing very well. I'm here uh, in my Coba on a little bit of a spring break adventure with my mates, and I have a quest for Mr. Suarez. 
question for Mr. Suarez. Come on. Fire away. Okay, so the locals here are offering us quail at about $50 a pop. And my question for you is, is that a reasonable price? For, for what uh, for what are they asking? What are they selling? Quaaludes. Is it 50 Quaaludes. pesos Quaaludes. or 50 he's, dollars? No, no, Quaaludes. no. He's, this is, he goes, me and my mates are here from spring break. Yeah, and I want to know if Quaaludes at 50 bucks. Okay, that well, seems, 50 <laughs> pesos or 50 <laughs> U.S. dollars? Or Quaaludes. No, these, the, are, these are legal tender 50 U.S. dollars. For okay. one Quaalude, they must be Lemon 714s because okay. those were really good <laughs> in the day. Easy. <laughs> easy. Uh, <laughs> You gotta plead the I'll, fifth on that. Tell you, to tell you the truth, I used to do a lot of criminal defense. I did it for 20 years. And I knew, because of my work, uh, off the top of my head, the price of kilo of kilos of cocaine or marijuana or heroin or quaaludes or all those substances. However, I really have not done any defense in uh, drug cases since 1994. And so today, I would be very unaware of what the normal prices would be for Quaalude in the street. So my suggestion is try the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and enjoy spring break. It sounds yeah. like you're on your way for a lot like of fun. Sounds like you're going to need Louise. Yeah, don't drive that car <laughs> when yeah, you're doing uh, those, please. Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, All right. Far out, mate. All right, Love thank me. you for calling. We appreciate it. Okay. Dingo is about. Uh, d- yeah, <laughs> let me do this. Do I'm gonna. Name we're, uh, we're okay. So we've gonna. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna try to stay on schedule. In our second segment, we're gonna put Luis on the hot seat. In the third segment, we're gonna update everybody on Russia daylight savings and share our favorite St. Patrick's Day memories. If yes. you all have those. And uh, so we'll take a short break, and when we return, we're going to put our guests on the hot seat for a rapid-fire cross-examination where he's going to answer our toughest questions. We'll be right back. I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full-service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281 681 0808. We're tough for you. Go to YouTube.com on your smartphone, tablet, or PC. Subscribe us on YouTube at Radio The Boss 91.1 FM. Hey there, Texas. Jensen Ackles here. There's a lot of scary stuff out there. But you know what's really scary? Distracted drivers. With their heads down, they're texting, they're swerving, blowing through stop signs and red lights. Not cool, yo. And not safe. And one other thing. It's not legal either. That's right. There's a new statewide Texas law that says you can't read, write, or send a text while driving. So heads up, Texas. Keep your eyes on the road. Talk, text, crash. Brought to you by TextDot. One final time, here's the veteran voice of the legal fix, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Attorneys are licensed by the State Bar of Texas. Our three lawyers plus examining the witness are Bruce Huff, Brandon Riley, and Jeremy Hall. And when the action begins, the witness on the hot seat will answer as many questions with the fewest words as fast as they can. The hot seat is sponsored by The Legal Fix, a new age radio show. Brought to you by the Tough Law Firm. We're tough for you. And now, for those listening on the radio and Legal Fix fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Legal Fix studios in the Woodlands, Texas. It's time! One lightning round for the undisputed legal fix hot sheet championship of the world! Uh, 
Thank you, Bruce. Welcome back to The Legal Fix. I'm the big deal, Bruce Tuff, with Boy Wonder, Brandon Riley, and Golden Boy, Jeremy Hall. Call our hotline at 936-900-2381. We already had one of our mates call mates. and ask us about uh, day, the price mate. of quaaludes. I don't know where the hell that was, but today we're what here with kangaroo. our special guest, Cuban-born born trial lawyer, Luis Suarez, and we're going to put him on the hot seat. And first of all, how's, how's Jennifer and Wendy? I, I don't think I've caught up with you on that. Everybody's good? Kids? They're, they're good. They're doing excellent. Okay. I'm very proud of their accomplishments uh, in their lives. Great, great. Well, awesome. we'll get. We'll. Get, I'll get to get more intel later. But sure. yeah, good. I meant to ask you that. And thank you for those great compliments, Luis. Thank you. We need a championship belt. belt. Okay, yeah, we do. We have to get one. The legal fix and the eraser can't. Have okay, it. have you oh, seen no. the hot seat? She's have you seen the show before? You probably haven't. Have you? Uh, the short answer is no. I have not. But it's I, not televised I, in Cuba. Yeah, I okay. sort of understand what a hot seat <laughs> is. <laughs> they get. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're going to put uh, Luis Suarez on the hot seat. Jeremy, will you swear in the witness? Yes, I will. Thank you. You're going to be the witness in a rapid fire cross examination, answering our three toughest questions as fast as you can. You get one free pass. Every pass after results in a 10 second penalty. So state your full name for the record, please. Luis Fulgencio Suarez. Luis, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and your version of the truth to answer the most questions with the least words as fast as you can? Si. Si. <laughs> Esta lista. All right, he's on the hot seat. How do you spell Fulgencio? F-U-L-G-E-N-C-I-O. Are you related to Omar Suarez from Scarface? Omar. Mm -hmm. No, but he learned a few tricks from me. <laughs> Sergeant Fulgencio Batista, the Cuban revolutionary. We share the same. Uh, we sh my middle name and his first name are the same because we were both born on the same day of the Saint Fulgencio. Oh, right. wow. All right. Presidente. Do you identify as Hispanic? I do. If you're a Hispanic female, do you say her, her panic? Like is if, if his if, and her panic. If it's a female in, right? So is it male <laughs> Hispanic and female her panic? Uh, I don't think so. Mm. I uh, I think it would be she panic. She <laughs> if you were a <laughs> if you were a luchador, what would your nickname be? El Grande. Yay. What would your special finishing move be? A kick in the you know where. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it true you matriculated at Youngstown State? Absolutely, but I don't. I'm not sure if I'm matriculated or just enrolled. <laughs> yeah, I figured. What was your mascot? The penguins, the mighty penguins. Did you ever meet Pete the penguin? Absolutely. I was a cheerleader for two years. So are you, are I you was a, a cheerleader too. Oh you made go Yay! Yeah. Yes. Are, you, are you still a member of Penguin Nation? <laughs> I still receive their emails and uh, news news. Uh, yes. News go go ahead. Nice. Then you went to law school at the University of Akron, right? I did. Yes. Who do you, who'd win a mascot fight? Zippy the kangaroo or Pete the penguin? Zippy or Pete? I think Who's Pete gonna would win? because he would hit and run. Did you? Mm -hmm. Then you got your LLM from the University of Houston, right? Correct. Yep. Have yeah. you ever petted Shasta the cougar? Uh, one in the rump. Yeah. Go. Oh, would yeah. you rather go run. zips or go kooks? Go zips, go kooks. What's best? Go kooks, probably. Go hey, I love that. Yeah. Go kooks, go kooks. Finally, you loaded up your raft and sailed to Yokio, Tokyo to study at Sofia University, right? Correcto mundo. And were you a Sofian then? <laughs> no, but I'll tell you this. At one experience at Sofia University, I saw the best table tennis players at the student union that I had ever seen in my life. Yeah. No, those are all girls, like, right? Like Isn't it all tennis. girls there? Did, that, you, did they know you were a man or did you have to wear Hanks? a wig? <laughs> <laughs> was it Forrest Gump? It was not Forrest Gump, but oh. it was something close to it. No one's a, It's no a girl's school. So, Forrest Gump's yeah. a so, yeah. You go. B. You were basically I, a fox. I in asked the, him. He passed on yeah, me. You were basically yep. a fox in the inn house, weren't you? He was at a girl's school. Actually, it's a girl school. Actually, yes, because I had a very unique experience in Japan of being, for once in my life, tall. Oh, okay. And so oh, nice. it, it helped. Yeah. Well, yeah. that yeah. answers yeah. our next yeah. question. What was the strangest thing about living in Japan, towering over everybody? What's your favorite Japanese expression? Honto. Honto. What All does right. that mean? Okay. Okay. Now you, now you live in Cut and Shoot, Texas, right? Yes, sir. Why is it named that, Cut and Shoot? Because it originated from a dispute, as many disputes in Texas, about religion and guns. Ooh, how ah, do you say Cut and Shoot sense. in Espanol? Corta y tira. Corta. Corta y tira. Corta de tira. How many kids do you own? Kids? I own mm -hmm. 
Who owned me? <laughs> <laughs> what are their names and ages? Oh, that's well, funny. Wendy is the oldest. She was born in 68. And Jennifer is the youngest. She was born in 75. Wow. Which one's your favorite? I love them both in different ways, but about the same intensity. Have you ever received a permanent, El Permanente, El Permanente. on your hair? Uh, once, when I came from Japan, I was talked into it. And I'll never do it again. <laughs> nice. What kind of hair product do you use up there? Uh, water and sometimes a little bit of uh, grease. Have you ever nice. rock? Have you ever rocked a mustache, Luis? A Suarez stash? A I pencil did. stash? I Pen did before I was married in 1980. A lip lapis? A little Cuban creepy yeah, crawler? Cre yeah. Yeah. Okay. B. Do you wear short shorts to the gym? I do. N I, I wear boxer shorts to the gym. Do you, you used to lift, lift bro? You used to lift, didn't you? Did I you still, lift, bro? I still yeah. do. Yeah. How much do you bench? Ooh, probably 140, 150 in a good day. That's D. Hey, D's Tara's, D's. hey, Tara's boyfriend was over last night. He benches 360. But yep. you already know how to yeah. defeat him in a fight. Yeah. We learned. I know that. <laughs> how, no, that's, <laughs> that's for Madison's boyfriend. <laughs> how tall are you? Five, eight and a half. Did he used to be taller? Yes. Next Halloween, will you go as Fidel Castro? I think he's six feet under, so it'd be <laughs> difficult. To Jose Canseco? Uh, no. How about Tony Montana? Montana. Ah, Political refugee from I, Cuba. I, I would love to be taken for Tony Montana. Yeah, do you have a, a will? A will? Do I have a will? Do you have a will? Yes, I do. Do you have a prenup? I do not have one now. How many Cuban pesos will it take for you to retire? It's not a question of money. I have more money now than I can prudently spend in the rest of my days. Nice. Will nice. you still use your La Breta, your Cuban household ration book? Cuban household ration book. La Breta. La Breta. Ration ration book. Okay, La Breta. No, 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 it's, Sorry. Uh, that's a book for rationing food and stuff in La Cuba. Breta. Right. Right. La Breta. I, I left Cuba before the La Breta. Season. Oh, you didn't get one. Dang. What's yeah. the most humble job you've ever had? Picking up butts. Cigarette, Cigarette butts. Cigarette, Cigarette butts. butts. Mm. How often do you check social media? Do you use any well, apps? Few. Maybe once a month I will check social media to see who sent me anything. We're, because we checked on you. And we want to know if you were posting, commenting, or just trolling. I am just looking. I very, very seldom post comments. Do you have a lot of friends in real life? Mm, not many. Okay, we noticed that you only have seven on Facebook. That's not even <laughs> enough for the top eight on MySpace. You'll probably have to add Tom. You back. need Tom. Yeah. Don't get the Big Verizon Friends family plan. It's a waste of any time minutes. Yeah. Not have you enough. cried in the last year? I'm sorry. Have you cried in the last year? Yes. Last month? Mm, just outside of the month. Oh, okay. 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 Sum up your life philosophy in a word or phrase. Live in the here and now nice what's the one okay. thing people don't know about you that you want them to know i am the happiest man i know top unchecked bucket list item probably die on a sunset day nice one food That's for life food. what would you eat that is nice Ham and cheese. What's your mm. What's your favorite place you've ever been to? Where I live now, Cut and Shoe, Texas. Yay. What percentage of your clients lie to you? When I did pr criminal defense, a lot of them may maybe lied to me. I never quite know how many, but now I find that clients, by and large, tell me the truth because I encourage it and I do not judge. A client when they say good or bad. Yeah. Don't, nice. Don't when you're in criminal law, important. did you ever make a member of the cartel cry? The short answer is yes, but not <laughs> for the reasons you might think. Did they make you cry? <laughs> Many times their families uh, caused me to mm. tear up and cry because of yeah. the of well, the circumstance. If, circumstance. if mm -hmm. you could be anything other than a gangsta lawyer, what gangsta. would you be? Probably a fair lawyer. There. <laughs> There's no such thing. What's the best kept secret about Cuba? That the sunsets are purple. Mm. Mm. So what Very is cool. a Cuban link? 
I am not sure I know what a Cuban It's a stylish is. men's necklace, a chain, a gold chain. I think he's right. a rapper. Yes. Yeah. No, I thought a it was a oh, Cuban's okay. only dating app, like J-Date, but Cubanos instead of Jews. Yeah. Mm, What's your favorite neck. movie or a show about Cuba? About Cuba, I cannot think of any other than uh, Montana. The Scarface, you know who that's made, mine. Do you know who made a movie about Cuba? Uh, Joseph Rumbaugh. Joseph, remember? Ro it yes, was the, yeah, I can't remember the name. The of robot the, inventor? I can't remember Rumba? the name of the Joseph movie. Joseph Rumbaugh. Yeah. What's the fastest, I, you, fastest you've ever gone in a raft? In a raft? Mm-hmm. Probably 14, 15 miles an hour down river. Whoa. Habla español? Sí, por supuesto. How do you say don't shoot in Spanish? No disparing. <laughs> What's your favorite <laughs> Spanish <laughs> phrase butchered by English speakers? Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Who's a better politician, Fred Rubio or Ricky Cruz? I don't know who Fred Rubio is. And how I about how him. about Ted Cruz or Ricky Rubio? Marco Rubio, right? Ricky. Okay, as a politician, Ted is excellent. As a statesman or legislator, I do not think well of him. Okay, that's a very good. Who's answer. your uh, favorite Cuban baseball player, Levon Hernandez or Orlando Hernandez, El Duque? Orlando Hernandez had a lot of style. Yeah, I love that guy. The leg kick. All right, Cuban UFC fighter, Yoel Romero or Hector Lombard? I'm sorry, I don't know either okay. one. Oh, Cuban Paris. actor, Andy Garcia or Desi Arnaz? Lucy, I'm home. Hello, Lucy. Lucy. Probably Andy Garcia. Nice. Andy. Cuban bombshell, Daisy Fuentes or Vida Guerra? Daisy Fuentes. I like Fuentes. Daisy Fuentes it would be my choice. Do you she prefer nice. dancing salsa or the She's rumba? A nice. She's a nice. I prefer salsa. Salsa. 100 yard dash, you versus Yasiel Puig. Who brings the Cuban cigars? I don't know. I I know our friend Yosel brings a lot of cigars. He does. I've Cuba. had cigars with yeah. Yosel. Right. Well, if you and Yosel are Juliet, do you spark the cigars before or after the 100 yard dash? I haven't smoked since November 5, 1995. Whoa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> stranded on a desert island, what's the one item you'd keep? Probably a pair of binoculars. Mm. What's a better pet, a Cuban crocodile or a butterfly bat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either one. So I Would you rather eat gas station sushi with Japanese anime characters come to life or a swine sandwich from the Bay of Pigs with Manolo before he's murdered for marrying Gina? Probably Manny. the uh, sushi. Nice. Okay. Would you rather be part of the second Cuban Missile Crisis, the Bay of Hogs, or dial 106 during a cartel invasion and be placed on a brief hold with music by Gloria Estefan? Estefan. Estefan. Probably the music by Gloria Estefan sounds nice. most appealing. All right, Rusty Harden or Tony Busby? Rusty Harden by far. Why by does far. Deshaun Watson need so many massages? When you have that kind of money, what else can you spend it on? <laughs> and prudently, Louis, Louis, prudently. Congratulations. Right. Did you love the hot seat? <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. That a boy. That was great. Thank you. No, Deshaun is clear. They know building. They did. Deshaun, they may he beat that thing, man. Good he job, got, Russell. They, they did not yeah, indict him, so he did, did good. Not. Russell Okay, Pat. let's blow through. We, we, that segment, we blew right into the third. So yeah. let's finish up here and we'll go to hot topics. What do you got for us, Boy Wonder? Be Today, dumb. it's a, it's a three-way panel. Okay. It's all smorgasbord. What's going on in Russia right now? Yeah. They're like they blowing canceled up theaters, Netflix. Right? They blew up a theater, yes. Yeah. And they killed. We don't know how many children were killed. What the hell is Man. Putin going to do? What's his end game? Do you know? His Luis, what do you game? think Putin's going to do? Is there an end game for this guy? I cannot see one, but it's amazing to me that after all the horrors we've been through in Second World War and. Uh, the Viet Cong killing fields and so on that we still Chinese stand revolution. by and let anglomaniacs right. act mm. as crazily as this situation. It mm -hmm. is. It's hard to believe. It's hard is to believe it's going World on now. Three? It is, well, he's, he's that, is that crazy. Is he's after? He's that crazy. To reset I don't know. the global I think structure? He, I think he's still pissed about the breakup of the USSR and he wants to reformat it and he wants to show what he, you know, he's a big deal. He wants yeah. to make Russia great again. 
Yeah, well, restore but he's, bizarre he's empire. going backwards. That's what he in my opinion, do. he's going flat ass backwards. Yeah, so. well, he's got mm-hmm. a new uh, Brittany for Brandon to champion. Yeah, free Brittany Grinder. Okay, we're going to get Is it Brittany Grindr, Grindr out. Or she Grindr. got arrested I for. Think it, yeah, no, Grinder's the dating app. No, Brittany Grinder. Brittany, no, no, Brittany no, Grinder's no. the basketball player. Yeah. She got arrested, yeah. and she, in fact, they're holding over till May, so they're not even going to give her the hearing. They just did the holdover on her. She had some vaping products in her luggage, and I think she's going to be a political prisoner. You got to know that so Russians we're aren't start down with that. Free Britney, no. the Free Britney yeah. movement. It's going Brandon, to start are you here. down with well, that? Another free bit. It's two. We had two for two. We had Britney Spears and Britney Grinder. Yeah. Yeah. Is so it Grinder? Or Griner. 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 Br- okay. Brittany Griner. She can throw yeah. down, though. She can dunk. Yeah, she can dunk. Club. I she's saw got her. Stars she's on got her some moves. Yeah. So yeah, she's a Simbi. She goes. Baylor Bears. Right. She's yeah. one of Ruby's favorite players. Really? It's yeah. big. Okay, what about Daylight Savings? We're making it permanent. It needs to be Thank of. goodness. Okay. What, are you, what are you talking about? Daylight savings. You like getting up in the dark? No, I don't want any of those Going to bed in the dark? I don't want to change it. I don't want to change it either. I want to keep it the same. Keep Daylight Savings. Okay. Remove Daylight Savings. Because then you just stay at one time. Stay at one time on daylight savings. Make it breaker. permanent. Luis, what do you That's say? That's not daylight savings. I think we should have both times because it's kind of exciting to look forward to an extra hour of sleep. <laughs> it absolutely <laughs> is. Yeah, but what do you do when you wake up the next day and you're late because you didn't realize that you lost an hour? Think about it as being a pass for being late to whatever it is you're late for. That's right. Here, pass right. Your a, phone pass doesn't a auto update. Necklace down to, to You've got Louise the iPhone for green. So yeah, I've got the hey, a new favorite phone. classic Saint 80s. Favorite Do you live in a bunker? St. Patrick's Day memories. Favorite? We're going to finish I don't have up good in the one, last only minute. Bad ones. Do it. Come on. You got one? one yeah. G.I. Yeah, so Jerome. What you, do you have? You pin 3 0 year walking yeah. to get beverages from a brewery in Philadelphia in the snow. Okay. Luis, okay. favorite St. Patrick's Day memory? Walking down my office on Baybrook, uh, in Baybrook Mall and seeing another office that had a young woman working hard and meeting the young woman who later became my wife, Janice. Whoa! Oh, wow. That's the that ultimate St. That Patrick's good. Day memory. That's what wow. wow. Boom! Unexpected. That, Drop the mic. That's he awesome. wins. Lucky Boom. Green. He wins that. It's your lucky day. All right, do you yeah. have? You don't have one at all? Do you even you know, know so I just have bad St. Woke St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. It's a Riley, day. So, yeah. It is today. All right. And I used to go to Beer Paredes downtown, and I and I would go there. Uh, the office was right. I was at uh, the... Lyric Center. So I'd go across yeah. from there. Then I'd go to Beer Paredes on West Gray, and I'd go to Griff's, the original, you know, mm-hmm. the Griff's. And I'd always meet interesting people. And I, I think one time I met a good group of folks that went to the, uh, to Rice, and they invited me to one of their college year-end events, which was spectacular. So it's always a been party. a fond place. A toga, a toga party. Yeah. And, and my buddy Tony Payton, who you know Tony, yeah. is Irish. And my mom is Irish. So uh, Colleen Fitzgerald was her name, and uh, Nano Payton was uh, uh, Tony's mom's name. So we celebrate our Irish mothers. Nice. Okay, well, thank you, guys. We will, I appreciate the episode. Thank you, Luis. It's so good yes. to see you. Thank We're going to take a trip into Brazoria County, I hear, next uh, next week, right, with yourself. Looking forward to so it. So it'll be really great. Well, thank you for turning in to The Legal Fix. This is brought to you by the Tough Law Firm. Call our office at 281-681-0808. Visit thetoughlawfirm.net or ask a question in the comments below once you get to the website. You can watch all the past episodes and highlights at toughlawfirm.net, The Legal Fix. For the latest episode, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Connect with us on Spotify, which Carlos, our producer, got us hooked up on. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Tune in to 91.1 FM, The Boss, Fridays at noon. We are live. I'm the big deal, Bruce Tough. With Boy Wonder, Brandon Ryler, Super Lawyer, G.I. Jerome, the Golden Boy, Jeremy Hall. We'll see you ne- next week for another episode of The Legal Fix. The Legal Fix. The Legal Fix. Did you know Spotify was an app? I-